Ever wonder which one of the top fast food franchises make the most money and which ones make the least? We're going to look at the top five and the bottom five, the lowest earning restaurant chains in America by earnings today on Franchise City. So starting from the bottom, number five lowest earning franchise is Church's Chicken. A single location of Church's is going to average about $688,000 a year. Church's has about 1,050 franchise units open right now. They closed 35 stores last year, and a freestanding store is going to cost you between $1.1 to $1.6 million to open. Number four lowest position is Auntie Anne's. And a single location is going to average only about $562,000 a year. Now, apparently, Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal, owns or did own eight franchise locations of Auntie Anne's. He should have called Franchise City a lot better options out there. Auntie Anne's, they've got about 1,200 locations open right now. They closed 20 stores last year. And buying an Auntie Anne's franchise was going to cost you between about one fifty dollars to $450,000 to open. The number three lowest spot from the bottom is Papa Murphy's Pizza. Owning an average location is going to gross about $551,000 a year. Papa Murphy's has about 1,300 locations, and they closed 69 stores last year. I think we're seeing a trend here. Papa Murphy's franchise is going to cost you between about $280,000 and $520,000. Second lowest earning franchise on the entire list surprises a lot of people, but it's Subway. And owning an average Subway location is going to gross you about four hundred dollars and $10,000 a year. Now, Subway, they've got over 23,000 locations, and they closed 996 stores last year. Opening a Subway franchise is a lot cheaper than the, the most of the uh, other stores. Cost you between 140 to 340,000. And at the very bottom, the lowest earning franchise of all the top 50 food franchises, and if I could have a drum roll, please. Baskin Robbins. And owning a single location, according to the QSR 50, is only going to gross about $247,000 a year. Now, in fairness to Baskin Robbins, I took a look at their FDD. I looked at their numbers from last year. They do look a little bit higher than what the QSR 50 is suggesting, but not high enough to take them out of the absolute bottom spot. I saw about $350,000. So Baskin Robbins, they've got about 2,500 locations open right now. They closed 26 stores last year. Opening a Baskin Robbins franchise is going to cost you between about $120,000 to $560,000. And now let's take a look at the top five franchises by earnings per single location. So number five highest earning franchise, McDonald's. And a single McDonald's location is going to average about $2.9 million a year. McDonald's, they've got over 13,000 locations open right now. They closed 66 stores last year and a traditional restaurant is going to cost you between 1.3 to 2.3 million. Number four highest spots, we've got Whataburger. And an average Whataburger location averages about $3.08 million a year. They've got 127 franchised locations. Apparently corporate owns the rest of those locations. They opened five stores last year, a bit of a change. A lot of other uh, stores are closing up. A traditional restaurant, if you could get one, is going to cost you about $1.2 million to open. And the number three spot goes to Raising Cane's Chicken. And an average Raising Cane's going to do about $3.2 million gross a year. Raising Cane's has 86 franchised locations. They opened five stores last year, and a traditional restaurant is going to cost you between $770 and $1.9 million to open. In the number two spot is Shake Shack, and an average Shake Shack location is going to do about $4.2 million a year. Now, according to Shake Shack, they are not selling franchises at this time. And the number one spot, if we could have a drum roll, please, is Chick. Fillet. An average Chick-fil-A location is going to do about $4.5 million a year. Chick-fil-A, they've got about 2,500 franchise locations. They opened 130 stores last year, and a Chick-fil-A investment is only $10,000. You could be the owner of a Chick-fil-A for only ten dollars But why is it so cheap? Be sure to check our Chick-fil-A video link 
at the end of this video. And you got to keep in mind, Chick-fil-A is a different business model than most other franchises. So your ownership is not exactly the same. Now notice the majority of even the big food franchises have been closing locations. And this data, keep in mind this as well, it's from 2019 before all the craziness started as the company financials, of course, are always one year behind. Is this an indication of what we may be seeing in the future for food? And we only covered food today, but keep in mind some service sector businesses. You can make just as much as a fast food restaurant with an investment that's one tenth or less the cost. Always give Franchise City Broker Group a call before you buy your franchise to ensure you're making an educated choice. Top reasons that you might not want to buy a Chick-fil-A video link above. Please like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching. Franchise City, a better way to buy franchise.